Hi guys, today in this video I will be talking about my journey for collecting, uh, my journey of collecting MP3s for various talking toys. These toys are Teddy Ruxpin, Mother Goose, Mickey and Snoopy, Big Bird. Uh, I plan to get Cricket and Corky audio, but unfortunately this takes years. I've been doing this for three years and, uh, MP3s have been very difficult to find, uh, and I'm just trying to make it easier overall just to do, because some Teddies, some Mickeys and stuff have broken cassette players, and they only work off of MP3s. They only work, uh, if you either bypass the tape recognition system, which basically, uh, stops animation with regular tapes. So you have to bypass that uh, by either taking them apart or uh, connecting, yeah, either taking them apart and disconnecting the wires that go to the tape recognition switch or cutting uh, holes in your tape adapter. Uh, the holes are in the middle, not in the middle, the holes are at the bottom. You don't have to do this with every toy, you just need to do this with all the uh, wow toys, like Teddy, Mickey, Mother Goose, things like that. But once you cut the holes in the adapter, that it should work. Um, animation might not be perfect. A lot of people have had this issue, but, I mean, I guess you just get what you get. But, how I started collecting MP3s of these is I saw various people, uh, running their Teddies off of MP3s. Blue Octopede included, she ran sweets off of mp3s because his tape player was broken and it wouldn't work if you did it any other way and how i came across the mp3s that i have if you're wondering uh cricket and corky have been uh a popular request of videos that people would, would like to see it honestly i think that it is too uh uh if you do want to find mp3s or audio in general you're gonna have to a, digitize your own tapes if you have any, um, or B, get audio from Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse, which is a YouTube channel. They don't have the animation coding, unfortunately. I have not tried to run it with just the audio, but Cricket and Corky can, can animate with just the audio, so I don't, I don't know. So you'll have to either get audio from Cricket and Corky's Clubhouse or download it with a YouTube downloading program. But how I required the MP3s that I had is when I was first learning how to use Safari, I ended up going and searching Teddy Ruxpin MP3s. I found a couple on archive.org. Uh, and then I found a website called botsrule.com that had a couple. That was pretty much it. I found a couple forums on uh, the Teddy Ruxpin Pro boards. Most of them, you know, didn't have any links to any type of mp3s, I also, I also found them all over time. Some of them were uploaded to the Internet Archive. Like, for example, the Teddy Ruxpin Summertime one. I, have, I actually just realized that I had uploaded Teddy Ruxpin Summertime on my channel twice. Uh, my collection started out with just Teddy ones. Uh, just Teddy mp3s. I, you know, just all the basic ones, like I... I only had one picture show one at the time, which was Teddy and the Sith Granges. Uh, all the audio was on YouTube with just the audio prior to me starting a collection. It just had just the audio. There was no animation coding of any type on there. And Lost Classics from the Vanille Childhood is what I go by now. I uploaded most of these. And... After finding the ones on archive.org, I made a whole video on where to get MP3s. I spent hours of hours of uh, Google searching. I found one website that had it was posted by Astronomy Arpian, uh, and all the the whole text was in Italian, so I had to I had to translate it. But it, I was still able to download the files, and eventually I ended up with MP3s in different languages. For Teddy, at least. I haven't found any for the other talking toys yet, like Mother Goose, Mickey, Snoopy, 
Uh, no, Snoopy doesn't have any. Uh, Snoopy was never released in Italy or any, or any other country, but Mother Goose or Mickey or Big Bird or anything like that. Most of mine are all in English, but I found a website with hours of Google searching that had some in, in Italian. Looking through comments on YouTube videos had one MP3 that it was the third crystal. It was uh, hosted by Famiglier Anavora, I guess and that's how you say your name. Uh, they're Italian from what I can get to. And somebody uploaded an MP3 for them to listen to. Uh, they were actually trying to get the whole collection of the Teddy tapes, like I have. So if you're any YouTubers are watching this, and if you're wondering why I've been commenting everywhere, if uh, if they have any Teddy Ruxpin MP3s with the animation coding, is because I've got quite a collection, but I don't have all 39 of the Adventure Series ones. And even if I did, I mean, some of mine are just... The audio is crap. Like, for example, uh, anything in the soup being an example. Either the person who digitized it didn't do it right, or the or the tape was just worn. Uh, but some of mine are crap. And if you if you watch the videos, if you followed any of the links that I've gave you, you'll understand. And I want good audio of these because they're gonna be hard to find. But I started collecting Teddy stuff first. That's what was easiest to find. Then the name. Uh, then a YouTuber full rare full rare albums ended up commenting on one of Blue Octopede's videos. Uh, if you want any of the Big Bird ones, I have MP3s that I can give you. Blue Octopede never responded, but I certainly did, and I was like, well, sure, that sounds good. Uh, I asked them if they had the MP3s, and they did. They gave them to me through Dropbox. They actually sent... We, we did this in the comments section, and I made a video online how to get how to get audio files from anyone uh, super easily, which is, I just did this over the years by asking various people online if they had MP3s, and if they did, please share them, until I got a good portion of my collection. And, yeah, so I got the Big Bird ones from Fullware albums, and they, they actually made a little joke, which I found interesting. Be sure to send a picture of you in a funny dress. And I thought that was kind of an interesting little re request. But I was like, why is that? And they just said L L O L. So I knew that was a joke. But I ended up getting the Big Bird stuff. Shortly, not long after, I I went to check to see if they've added any more files because the uh, because the uh, I, I didn't have like all nineteen tapes at the time with animation coding. And sure enough, when I checked, the Dropbox was gone. Uh, the Dropbox link was completely gone. Uh, and I'm like, why did you delete the, the link? I want this up here so everybody can see it and download MP3s for their Big Bird. And and I said, I ran out of, out of Dropbox storage. And they posted them again, and then they said, I have archived them, but I just want them to be available for anybody else who wants to download them too. So I have had incidents where MP3s got deleted. I was able to find um, some of the answer box ones uh, and picture show ones by somebody named George. Um, I don't know if he's still on YouTube anymore. Uh, he actually found a digitized version of Let's Learn About Opposites and I asked him to post a link. He had a drive that had uh, Teddy ones, uh, like he had the adventure series folder was pretty much empty. He did have uh, uh, the airship in French, and not all the MP3s were there, but they did have the animation coding, and that was. I had more files to add to my collection. Um, I I was able to get MP3s from Gorb the Octopede with minor success. Trust me, it wasn't easy. Uh, there's ups, there's downs, there's in betweens. There's stuff I learned from this whole journey. Part of getting MP3s from Gorb is he had all the fire safety ones uh, perfectly digitized, flawless audio with animation coding. 
and I wanted a, a link to that, since I did not have those in my collection yet, and getting a hold of one wasn't easy. Um, I'm not sure why Gorb wouldn't share it with me easily, and to this day I still don't know. Uh, but I had to get my I had to get my friend Caden involved just to get some of these files, and uh, he ended up commenting uh, on Gorb for literally hours until. Eventually, I think Gorb was just like, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm getting rid of these files. Ah, you're fine, post the link. And I even commented too, like, you don't have to get rid of them. Uh, you can, I can always reshare the link. You don't have to completely dump your whole collection all, all for one person. Because uh, once you share something on, once you post a link to something, your files are still going to be there. Uh... And then Willie Who's It, actually, who ended up quitting their channel, I think, deleting most of their videos, or privating them, I'm not really sure, and changing their channel name. I don't even know why people do that. Uh, and they posted the Welcome to Hasbro Children's Hospital one, along with all the Mickey and the Mother Goose ones. They ended up deleting them, and I'm like, I... Collecting MP3s has taught me about YouTube downloading programs and trying to find one. So what, what I wanted to do is download these programs uh, uh, through my phone, at, download these files onto my phone, and add them to my collection. But knowing that there was a drive that also had some of these files that for some reason he wouldn't give me. Again, again same reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, but I just wanted a way to download them, so I could add them to my collection. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't upload any anybody else's content unless it got took down. Uh, I didn't. I was unable to download any of Wooly's videos since I didn't have, since I didn't know of any programs that do that now. But I do know of some programs that do that now, and I will openly share them with people, privately or publicly. And not all people are, are willing to do that. The program is... There are two programs I found that do it. One of them is Give Fast Link. And the other one is It Once. Or I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not really sure. But they all... I've had success with both of them. I, I actually had to download a couple of files from... Inspired Figment One Little Spark. Just simply because I couldn't find them anywhere else. And I wanted to add them to my collection. But, yeah, I pretty much just got my collection from years of searching, uh, asking other people. Sometimes I had to get my friends involved. Uh, with the whole Gorb the Octopus story, I ended up, uh, I ended up using one of my other accounts, uh, and somehow he knew what I, what I was doing. He was like, I know who you are, you're, you're Toy Fanatic. Uh, and I used a different account to do this. I almost thought about creating a whole new Google account to... Just for... Just for one thing. But I hadn't done that. But now that I actually have some of these files, um... Now they're easier for archiving purposes. But this collection of audio I have is still growing. Uh, most of the tapes I got came from other people. A couple of them I had to digitize myself, like Mother Goose Lullabies, as an example, was uh, one of my teachers had the tape. I was able to uh, acquire it from her and digitize it when it was using uh, an Ion Boombox Deluxe, which can basically, it has the tape player, it has Bluetooth, it has radio, it has aux, uh, auxiliary port, it has USB to tape conversion, uh, so what I did to digitize this is I had a USB flash drive. I plugged it in, into the boombox. I put the tape in. And I recorded it with the animation coating. No program to remove it. And since I couldn't download Wooly Who's It videos because I didn't know how to do it yet. I basically just hooked up my phone to the boombox with the aux cord. And plugged in the USB stick. I had to do some audio editing with this too, because when I did when I did all these files, I realized that they came out 
absolutely terrible. When I got them onto a somewhere where I could access, I put them in Google Drive. Um, and then what I did after that is I had to, I couldn't get them to play on my phone. And I had, I couldn't get them to download either. I was finally able to for a little bit, but it took a lot just to get them to play. Um, when I did get them to play, uh, I found out that the audio was actually really quiet. Uh, Mother Goose Lullabies has been edited because there were some dropouts in the audio and the volume was just extremely quiet. But even then, um, I still think you should use Audacity to digitize your tapes and uh, some of those USB tape converter thingies, they haven't tried out very many of them, but most of them that I've tried seem to have dropouts. Like, if you're wondering why there's parts cut out of the audio, it's because I used... It's because the tapes I digitized myself, and they didn't come out the greatest. So I had to... I had to edit them. So... To keep it... Short, yeah, I went onto Blue Octopede's archive account. Archive.org account, and that's how I got the Patty PlayPal ones. I learned about... Getting rid of the animation coding using an audio editing program. A lot of people seem to like audio-only videos more than I thought they would. Because, I mean, my whole purpose is to post these with the animation coding since they're so hard to find. Uh, somebody named RyRy29 asked me, I think, the, I think that's, the, that's the name, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. They recently got a Teddy Ruxpin and they asked if I had the Medicine Wagon tape with animation coding. And unfortunately, I do not yet. Not to say that I won't find a copy of it, but unfortunately I do not quite yet. So, yeah, if you want to get MP3s, there's going to be ups and downs. I'll share with you with, with what I have. You might have to do audio editing, you might have to... I'm not really sure yet. But there's going to be ups and downs. If people aren't willing to share them with you, I don't know, either just A, accept that as an answer, or B, get get other people involved that worked for me and so yeah i hope this video was helpful and i hope people enjoy it sorry for making it so long i just this was a lot to say about getting mp3s so bye i hope you enjoy the video